Hi everyone, it's Dan here from Flexible and guess what, today I'm gonna to talk to you about the Facebook conversion API and how that works effectively and accurately with high level, okay? A lot of advertisers out there are running the high level funnels, they're generating leads for their clients, but Facebook is spinning its wheels. They're not, you know, it's not recognizing any conversions. It's a mess, half of the leads are coming in, half of them aren't. Um, you don't know which ad sets to optimize, you don't know which creatives are working. It's a complete nightmare, okay? So we've created a very special post for my, my senior account manager. Graham Connolly, Connolly is gonna take you through how we did this so you're never gonna have any more tracking issues with your high level funnel, enjoy. Hey guys, today I'm just going to go over how to um, set up the uh, Facebook conversion API uh, with Go High Level. Let's get stuck in. So first things first, obviously, um, I've shown in the, uh, previous videos, um, the first things you need to do is to get um, a thing from Facebook you're going to need to create the Facebook conversion API within High Level, and that is the pixel ID, the API token, and the name of your conversion. Um, so we just want to go up here, go to events manager in your business, um, in your Facebook business, uh, and go to the correct ad accounts and select the pixel. Uh, the pixel ID will be here, which you want to copy and paste to uh, a notepad. Um, you will also... And then the next thing you want to do is you want to go to set to settings and you want to get the API token. So you want to scroll down to Facebook conversion API here and you want to click generate access token. So and you want to copy that to clipboard. Like so. Um, I'm setting this up for the, um, the schedule lead, uh, the schedule event, because uh, I'm going to be doing this on appointments, um, but you can also use the the lead up, 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 up to you which one you you use um but we're using this on our appointment setting funnel so we're using the lead for the lead talk event and this is for the appointment setting um for, for the appointment event basically uh, which we should schedule so once you've got that you can go back uh to high level um so the next thing you want to do is basically you want to go and either create a calendar or set up your calendar that you've already got there. So in here, we've already got one here. You can create a new calendar quite easily just by um, clicking here, which you can create, you know, whatever you, whatever you want there. I want to go into this one just to show you um, it's the same, same premise. So just call it a demo calendar, you know, Fill out all this as, as you would usually fill it out. Um, availability again, fill it out however you would usually fill it out. And then the confirmation, um, we want to be adding our Facebook pixel ID, which you've just collected here. Now you want to be uh, pasting that into the Facebook pixel ID section here, basically. Um, and then either, yeah, you can either do a form, form submit or custom thank you, and then you, you just want to press save or complete. So once that's done, um, you want to kind of move on and find the integrations in this section. So you don't necessarily have to do this, but I always find it's, it's better to do it. Um, you want to link your um, Facebook account, ad account with your Go High Level account. I don't believe you need to do this for the um, conversion API to work. I'm just saying it's good practice to do so. Um, in which case you just got to press connect and then you go through the standard uh, connection process to your Facebook profile and then you select whichever ad account you want there. Okay, so next up, um, we want to go back uh, to Facebook and we want to press uh, get started here. In these settings, I'll just show you quickly, just so you know. So it's in the settings section of your Pixel of in Events Manager go into conversions API, press get started. Um, you want to press continue. So these are the previously selected conversion APIs. I'm just going, normally you would select them all, but just for the ease, I'm just going to select one. 
Um, and if you want to select others, you can select them all. Um, if, if, if you're doing this, you probably, you probably want to select uh, them all just in case you want to send multiple ones from Go High Level, but we're only doing um, the appointment setting one at the moment. So I'm just going to leave two in there just to show you what happens. So basically you press continue and then you've got to set the, the event details. So normally you'd have loads down here that you'd have to do it all the same for basically. Um, but here you just want to select what data you want to pull in um, from the a API. Um, so on the schedule here, uh, you've got a few options. We're going to select those four that are already selected there, which um, are quite simple. Um, and then you want to select the things that are going to be sent through from a uh, high level. Uh, so we're collecting email, phone, first name, last name, uh, the client um, IP address, the client user agent, and then also the to cookie um, section. If you are asking any of these questions down here, then you can more than book to add those in. But at this time, we're just going to add these in. And then once that's done, you just want to press continue. Review the setup, uh, which is fine. And then press continue. Um, and then press finish. So once that's done, you can go back to high, high level again. And now this is where we set up the, the API. So where you want to go to, so you want to make sure you're in your um, account here, not the agency account, uh, the account view here, where you select one of your clients or whatever. And then you want to go to, work, to workflows. Okay, so this is the um, conversion API that I've set up. So I'm just going to show you how we set it up. So you want to add a, a new workflow trigger. Um, for appointments, it has to be customer booked appointment, not um, just standard appointment. This one does not trigger or does not work for the conversion API. Um, I tried that first uh, and it does not work. So and I've, you need to have the customer booked appointment as the trigger. Um, you obviously want to give it a trigger name, which is customer booked appointment. And obviously it's based off of the CRM trigger, which is the customer booked appointment. So that's what you want to save the trigger as. Um, once you've done the trigger, then you can set up uh, the next part, which you just press the, the, the little plus button, um, just type in Facebook, and then it's the Facebook conversion API uh, node that you want to get. So you just click on that and it will bring up this. Um, so the action name, I've just put Facebook Conversion API on it. Now this is where you'll need your access token that we've uh, put in the notepad here. So you want to copy and paste that um, into uh, this area. Again, the pixel ID, which we copy and pasted, you want to paste that into here. Uh, the, sh the Facebook event name, luckily they have all the standard uh, names in here, so you've just got to select one. I'm going with schedule uh, for the uh, booked appointment. Then you can put a value and a currency in. And then you want to make sure you put a test code in. Uh, and to find the test code, you go back into your events manager um, and you want to find your, your pixel you're using. Uh, you want to go to test events. Um, and then you want to copy this little bit, just click it, come back here, and you want to just add it in there. And you want to save that action. So once that's done, uh, so very, very simple. Uh, you want to press save. And now what we want to do is you want to make sure that it's uh, put to publish as well and then save again. Um, and then this doesn't work when you press, press test workflow. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back and we're going to go test the calendar. Uh, to do this, we want to go back uh, to this area here and go to calendars. Uh, click on the link there and it'll bring up your calendar here okay now next thing we want to do is we want to go to facebook i want to click on the first ad that we see and you want to scroll along to the end and you want to get your facebook 
click ID, FB clid, copy that. I'm going to put a little um, question mark there, paste that there, I didn't paste it all. That should be FB. So just click on this one again, just to show you on this stuff a bit. So you have to uh, copy and paste this bit, the FB clid and that, okay? And just to show you, you just put the question mark and then paste. And then you press enter. Now you want to double check that your Facebook pixel helper is firing. So the pixel has been, um, been fired and then basically you want to put in a test lead. So let's go, uh, let's go Okay, and we can submit that. Cool, press skip, and that should be good. So then what we wanna do is we wanna go back into um, high level, and we wanna go to workflows basically. Okay, that should say total enrolled. So there was 11 there before, uh, now um, there's 12. So one's come through, we'll have to see if it's worked. So this one's just come through now. Um, so we're going to execution log. And so it's saying executed, executed, and to work flow. So it looks like it's worked. Uh, one thing that I like to do, just to double check here, is go to more details, and it will tell you what's been sent through. Uh, so you've got um, the success response. So a lead has been sent. You click under user data sent to Facebook. You click here. Shows you exactly what was sent. So uh, the FBC and the FBP were picked up by high level, which is good. And it sent the first name and last name and email address. Um, and it's got the client IP and the client user agent. So it hasn't sent the phone number. So I'm just going to go back here. Ah, and this is where also, just before I do that, this is where you can check your test lead has come in. The test lead has come in. Uh, it's got all of that information on their website. Perfect. And that's the URL it's come from. Um, so that's all working fine. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go and go back to workflows. Um, you want to go click on uh, the workflow and you want to click on the Facebook conversion API and you want to take out that test code and then press save action and press save. Okay, and then back to workflow. So that should all be set up now. It should all be working. Whenever someone uh, books an appointment through your Go High Level calendar, uh, it will register a lead within Facebook. I just want to go check uh, to see something. I just want to check that phone number has been selected. Um, go to setup, uh, continue. Let's go continue. And let's go here. So it looks like, okay, cool. So phone is up there. So for some reason that hasn't been passed through on that, on that occasion, uh, but it's got most of the other data in uh, the FPC and the FBP cookies are very important for match rates. And so is the client IP and client user agent. And obviously email is a big one and first name, last name. So we've got a lot of data going in there, um, which is very good. I just want to go back to test events, just to, to server, manual setup. Yeah, perfect, cool. So that basically means that's your um, Facebook conversion API set up for you. Um, and that should all be working now and send in uh, through data. Obviously always check, check your match rates. Uh, you want it as high as possible. Um, but as I said, this, this conversion API is one of the easier ones I've done. Um, so congratulations to GoHail for making it that easy for everyone. Um, a few things just, just to, to really remember is it's booked customer appointment. That's what you want to be using, not uh, just a standard appointment. Um, but other than that, that's how we set it up. Um, so I hope it's been helpful, guys. Um, if you have any questions, uh, please whack it in the comments below and uh, I can answer them for you.
Okay, cheers guys, bye. -bye. Okay, if you like this video today, then please give us a like so we know to create more videos like this. Uh, the other thing is if you have any questions at all, and if you want any tips, then please comment below. And the last thing is subscribe, so you're gonna be the first to learn when there's new content like this created by us. Thank you.